everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from ClearPath Robotics and this is the Robot Spotlight, our series where we highlight some of the most interesting and unique robots that come through our integration shop. Now today we'll be exploring our newest robotic inspection system with added 3D modeling capabilities. Let's go ahead and get started with the episode. <laughs> So today I'm here with our systems engineer, Ryan, who's going to tell us a little bit about his most recent project. So Ryan, could you tell us a bit about your robot? Yeah, sure. So we designed this robot to do inspections of hydroelectric dam penstocks. These penstocks, they're long tunnels that will degrade over time and require preventative maintenance to keep them operating efficiently. To accomplish this preventative maintenance, they do inspections. These inspections are done manually by hand. The problem with this is that this is uh, dirty work, this is dangerous work, and the data that you collect doesn't give the operator a full picture of the state of the system over time. To solve this problem, we've partnered with Aplanix to create this unique robotic system. They have a system called TIMS, which is a manual cart that the operator will use to map a space. This cart uses a LiDAR, a visual camera, and a high fidelity IMU to create a 3D model of the environment that they map. To create this robot, we've taken components from the TIMS system integrated it onto our Husky base platform and added a thermal camera and a visual camera to create a full inspection workflow. So how could this robot be used in the field? We provide our operators with a tablet. On this system is our outdoor nav software. This is used exclusively for teleoperation. The operator is going to set up their base station at the entrance to the penstock. They'll be able to navigate the robot down uh, the length of the penstock. As it's navigating down, the TIM system on here is going to be mapping and modeling the environment. If the operator finds a item of interest, they can use the thermal camera to inspect that item, or they can use the optical camera to inspect it as well. So could you walk us through the hardware on the system as well as some of your design choices? Sure. So on this system, uh, we have our Husky base platform. So the entire mass of the system is 100 kilograms. So we needed a, system, or a platform that was a small footprint, that was rugged, and would be able to take the mass of that 100 kilograms. So that's why we chose the Husky. For power, we have removable battery packs. These battery packs are 40 amp hour cells, um, which gives us the lifespan to be able to do these long inspections on the system. On the front and rear of the system, we have cameras. These are used uh, for forward and reverse driving through our teleoperation software. Inside, we have our PC, which is running Ross Noetic. Um, we also have a couple other hardware components and our power breakouts within the uh, interior of the system. The base platform is designed, it is sealed. Um, it's designed to withstand uh, water spray um, that you may find within these penstocks when we're doing the inspections. Moving up to the top plate of our system, we have our Infinity Optics PRT visual camera. So this will be used by the operators to do an inspection of any items of interest that they find in the tunnel. Also on the top plate here, around the perimeter, we have uh, four flood uh, illumination lights. Um, this is just used to provide ambient lighting in our tunnel environment. We also have around the perimeter here, we have four lift points, which are designed for being able to lift and move the Husky into position um, wherever it is needed. As we move up from there, on the front here, we have our FLIR E46 PTU, as well as a A400 thermal camera, which is flanked by two Raytec panel lights, again, to help with inspections within these dark environments. Within the uh, mast here, we have a radio. This allows communication between the robot and the base station. So I mentioned before that we took some components from the TIM system and integrated it onto our cart. So up top here, we have the Faro LiDAR scanner. This is a 2D scanner, which will generate a 3D map as the robot traverses forward and backwards. We also have our uh, Ladybug 3 visual camera, and this is used to colorize the generated point cloud 
to give you a bit higher fidelity. Interior to the system, we have the IMU. In conjunction with the encoder outputs from our uh, drivetrain, this will help to ensure that the system knows exactly where it is in space and you generate an accurate map. On the back here, we have a tablet PC which gives you access to the UI for the TIM system. As well, on the back, we have a separate PC which is running just the TIMS capture software. Great, could you just review some of the software on the robot for us? Sure. So, I mentioned before we have our ROS PC which is running ROS Noetic with our Outdoor Nav software. This software allows the operator to teleop the robot uh, remotely as well as it gives access to your forward and reverse driving cameras, your visual camera and your thermal camera. Separately, we have the TIMS software which is running which controls all aspects of the TIMS software capture. The operator will have a tablet which is running through a web browser will be able to access our outdoor nav software as well as the TIM software to give the operator complete control of the platform. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much, Ryan, for sharing your robot with us. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe because there will be more videos like this one coming very soon. Now, if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. <music>